Hey YouTube, my name is Paul. I'm here at Al and Ed's Auto Sound in Los Angeles. Just want to show you this 2006 Porsche Cayenne. We just finished doing a uh, audio system upgrade as well as backup sensors and a backup camera that have all been added to the vehicle. So I'm going to show you what we did in the back of the vehicle first. We went ahead and added these new Rostra backup sensors and there's a total of four sensors that have been added to the vehicle. Also, there's a camera that's on the actual license plate frame made by Boya. This is Boyo. This is one of their new high definition cameras. Very sleek. It's actually in a black metal frame, so you can barely even see the camera there. And we've integrated the backup sensors to work with the camera. So in the vehicle, we've gone ahead and replaced the factory navigation system with a brand new Kenwood DNX 9990HD. This is an all-in-one navigation system with Bluetooth for your phone as well as audio. We've also added an iPod interface cable, which is located in the glove compartment. Have an iPhone connected. There's a second USB that can be used for a thumb drive play music. I'll go ahead and close up the glove box. And we were able to install this unit with the use of this custom dash bezel that we ordered from Europe. So it does have a perfect factory fit and finish on this vehicle. If you'd like to get one of these kits and would like some questions answered regarding the unit, please give us a call here at Allen Ed's Auto Sound. So I'll go ahead and turn the unit on. We were also able to integrate the vehicle's steering wheel controls so I can do volume up and volume down as well as changing tracks, changing sources all from the factory Porsche steering wheels. So this is a unique vehicle, only has 31,800 miles on it and customer brought it to us, it kind of did not like the factory nav system so we went ahead and added the Kenwood unit in. What I do like about this Kenwood unit, I'm going to be able to go into the menu options and go into display options for under setup. I'm going to go into the display coloring and I'll be able to change the coloring on the unit to match up with the rest of the dashboard lighting. And we'll go ahead and set the color to be amber to match up with the rest of the dashboard vehicle lighting. We'll come out of that menu. So now it looks perfect in the vehicle. This unit also has a unique feature that will let us do an angle and we can do a negative tilt and with that negative tilt the unit actually tilts down and the bottom tilts in so if the sun is glaring down on the unit, it'll help us. Or we can actually tilt the unit the opposite way and angle it up. I'll save the other functions. So the new Kenwood unit is considerably faster than the previous model. And they've actually added hard buttons, so it's very easy to navigate. Scrolling will allow me to go through all the phone options, telephone, CD, DVD, navigation. It's using a Garmin based GPS system. Um, the unit does also have high definition radio. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the backup camera for you guys as well. I'm going to put the car in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and start backing up. Now, what I'd like to do is flip the car around a little bit. We've got a new, brand new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, one of the Modern Warfare 3 edition vehicles. In the bay, we're gonna be working on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start just backing up towards the vehicle. And as I'm backing up, The bumper of the vehicle is right here. We see these two little lines. And just as I start to back up, 
what appears on the screen, it says 52 inches. So the backup sensors have actually kicked in. I do hear them beeping. And as I get closer to the vehicle, the beeping gets louder. And it's showing me that I'm 32 inches, 28 inches, 24 inches away. I'm going to go ahead and stop the vehicle here. Put it in park and go outside and show you guys where we're at. So that is a very accurate backup sensor system. Allows me to see where we are in relation to the vehicle behind us. To complement the sound in the vehicle, let's go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Give you guys a better look at that camera here. We went ahead and built a custom subwoofer enclosure that's done in fiberglass. It's hidden inside the side compartment. Covered with a grill cloth so it looks totally factory, blends in perfectly with the vehicle. And here's the system components. We use the Kenwood DNX 9990 HD. We have a Kenwood Exelon woofer KFCXW10. It's mounted in the side panel here. We use the five channel Kenwood Exelon amp. We're actually using the factory speakers in the vehicle. The Boyo VTL 375 HD, which is the new high definition camera. And the new Rostra backup sensors that are integrated with the camera and the Kenwood monitor. And then the steering wheel control module. Remember the parts for the dashboard are available from us. So if you need those, give us a call here at Allen Ed's Auto Sound, 310-836-5550. And I'm going to show you where the amplifier is mounted. So we're going to lift up a little cargo space. The spare tire is there. And right next to the spare tire, we went ahead and built a little wood piece. Mounted the amplifier perfectly there. So it actually looks like it actually came in the vehicle. It's a perfect fit. Sounds great, good amount of bass, and I suspect we will be possibly doing a speaker upgrade in this vehicle since it has the option of doing a three-way component set. So we've got the six and a half inch, the mid-range driver, the tweeters located right on the dash. Give us a call here at Allen Ed's Auto Sound in Los Angeles, 310-836-5550. Thanks.